Know your why. Why do you do what you do? If you're in school, why do you show up? And as it says, if it's, if it's because you have to, well, you're not gonna give it your best. Remember how you do anything is how you do everything. There is an opportunity in every facet of your life, every day, every hour of your day, every minute of your day, every second of your day. So I have a really good video. It's called Know Your Why, and it shows you the difference. I've shown this thing, I don't know, hundreds of times. And every time I show it, it, it hits me the same as the first time I've seen it. And it's the difference between doing something because you're told to do it and you're just doing it versus, oh, you're right, I, I can do it better. I can do it the way I know how. I can do it with my more energy. I can do it being myself. How do I know? And a lot of times when people hear the phrase, how do I know? The next thing they say is what? How do I know what? But the key really isn't to know what. The key is to know why. Because when you know your why, you have options on what your what can be. For instance, my why is to inspire people to walk in purpose. My what is stand-up comedy. My what is writing books. My what can be going out with some friends to eat. In fact, another what that has moved me towards my why is a, a web series that we have out now called Break Time. So every Wednesday at 3 o'clock, you should subscribe to the, to the channel. Uh, we do a series called Break Time on YouTube. So 3 o'clock, we drop a new episode. One episode in particular I'm about to show you a clip to. We were in, uh, we were in Winston-Salem. So Break Time, this is how it works. I travel the country. I do stand-up comedy probably an hour, hour and a half at an event. And in the middle of my show, I'll just sit down and start talking to the audience. And funny just happens. Or I'll meet somebody who's really interesting. So I met this one guy, and he said that he teaches music at a school. I was like, all right, you teach music, you know, um, can you sing? And then uh, I'm just going to show you the clip. Check it. So you're a musical director. Cool. Yes, sir. All right, so... Um, let me get a couple. Let me get a couple bars of like uh, "Amazing Grace." Can you do the first part of that? Go ahead. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Wow, that bro could sing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, all right. Um, now, once you give me the version, is if uh, your uncle just got out of jail, you got shot in the back when you was a kid. I'm just saying, let me see the hood version real quick. If you know the version I'm talking about, just see if that exists. Let me see what you got. Amazing grace, how sweet the that saved a wretch like me. So here's the thing. The first time I asked him to sing, he knew what he was doing. The second time I asked him to sing, he knew why he was doing it. When you know your why, your what has more impact because you're walking in or towards your purpose. That gets me every time. And well, I will watch it another time, but don't watch the gentleman that's singing. Watch the people around him. This is what happens when we put our energy into whatever we're doing. When we don't put energy into it, it comes out okay. He was hitting the notes. You know, everyone's like, mm hmm. 
But then as soon as his energy changed and he put himself into it and he knew what he was doing, I mean, why he was doing it, the whole energy in the room shifted. You get what I'm saying? And that's how we deserve to live our life. And it's really just allowing yourself to be who you are. And when you're who you are, your natural energy will come out. I promise you. Okay? And, you, and you're cool. You're super cool. What are you talking about? 